you are way too old to be thinking that you're way too old. You are just getting started and you have no idea. When Julius Caesar was about 31 years old, he took a trip to Spain. This was shortly after his wife had passed away. He was in a very tumultuous time internally. He was a public auditor at the time. He was not the famous Julius Caesar we know that took Rome to new heights. And he saw the statue of Alexander the Great and he started to cry because he felt like he wasn't worthy of the life he was living. At that point in time, he had not accomplished anything of note. He felt worthless. He couldn't help but to cry at the sight of a man who was his age and had accomplished such amazing things that he got a statue. Yet here was Julius Caesar with nothing to his name. Julius Caesar at 31. Everybody has this idea of a timeline for life. You know, when things are supposed to happen, what age you should be when you accomplish certain things or reach certain milestones or goals. And I'm not gonna lie, myself included, I have a lot of goals that I thought I would have hit by 21 years old, 20 years old. Life goes a little different sometimes. One thing that is important for us to do is to get out of our heads and to stop rushing the process. Now we can't control when that door is gonna open, but based on what we do with our time while the door is still closed, we can influence some factors that promote doors opening. We can be ready for the door to open when it is open, but we can't force it open, okay? It opens when it's time to open. It's so difficult at times because you look around and you see people your age, especially in the social media age, you see people your age or younger doing such amazing things, right? Living their dreams, having accomplished something so great that it seems like they've got everything figured out at such a young age. I get it. It's natural, we're human, we all do that, I do it too. Everybody's journey, everybody's timing is different. And I gotta remind myself every day, everybody's timing is different. I'm very impatient when it comes to what I want and what I wanna achieve, what I wanna reach, the impact I wanna have on the world and the debt I wanna make. I'm very impatient because I hold myself to such a high standard that I felt like I feel like I should have already done a lot of things that I haven't done yet. It's cool, we keep it moving, right? Let me talk to y'all about a few people who I am very fond of in a lot of ways. I got a lot of respect and love for and appreciation for their journeys. It took a long time for them to get to that point of recognition or even mild success. And now we look at them as some of the most successful and driven and accomplished people in the world. This is what I wanna to talk to y'all about. All my Marvel heads, Stan Lee, you know, the godfather of all of this, this beautiful franchise, movies, comic books, action figures, all types of stuff. Marvel Universe, right? The MCU, all of this. Stanley wrote his first comic at 39 years old. Let me repeat that. Stan Lee wrote his first comic at 39 years old. The first comic he wrote was Fantastic Four. This led to Spider-Man, this led to Black Panther, this also led to X-Men. And the rest is history. Let's talk about music. Susan Boyle, she went on Britain's Got Talent. She was 47, okay? She was 47. She was worried about how she would be received based on the way she looked and based on the fact that she was almost 50 years old in an industry where, you know, younger and more attractive people tend to get more attention and more recognition. She went up there, she told the crowd and the judges, I want to be a professional singer. And people rolled their eyes, some people laughed, nobody really believed, until she opened her mouth and started to sing. She sang something called I Dreamed a Dream. At the end of her performance, she got a standing ovation. The judges went crazy. Fast forward, her debut album called I Dreamed a Dream was the highest selling album, debut album in the history of the UK at the time. She was 47 when she went on Britain's Got Talent. Imagine if she had thought, I'm too old to do this. We never get Susan Boyle. We never get Stan Lee. Let's talk about somebody else I look up to, Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson went to college for marine biology. Then he switched to architecture once he found out that wasn't for him. And then he kind of settled on drama after taking a public speaking class. Just kind of fell into it. Didn't plan on it, just fell into drama, right? Let's just get something, get a degree in and get out of college, right? Over time, he fell in love with the art. He fell in love with performing, with being an actor, with being able to portray these complex characters and, and play these important roles in different productions, right? His first starring role was in 1993. He was around 44, 45 years old 
and it was his first starring role of his entire career. Samuel L. Jackson was in his mid 40s before he ever had a starring role in a production, in a film. But it wasn't until the next year when he starred in Pulp Fiction, which the role was written specifically for him, and that one role made him an international superstar. That one role is the, is the reason why we get Samuel Jackson that we have today. Somebody that's been in so many movies, plays so many parts so, so beautifully and gracefully, is an amazing actor, right? A great humanitarian, somebody that most people look up to for their, their journey, their hustle, their struggle, their grind, and their ability to accomplish in spite of. He was 45 to 46 when he first became a star. 44, 45 when he first got his initial starring role in Hollywood. What if at 39 he'd have been like, nah, I'm too old. We never get Samuel. Understand this. A quick one. Carrie Washington was 36 when she got the role for Scandal to be Olivia Pope. She was almost 40. What if at 35 she'd have gave up and said, nah, I'm cool. It ain't work. We never get Scandal the way we get it. All right? And I've never seen Scandal. Let's give you the buck. I've never seen Scandal. But... It's a very successful show, and I got much respect and love for, for what they were able to accomplish. Now, let's talk about a super duper, super duper star, somebody that is lauded by many people in the industry. So many people look up to her. She's an amazing actress. She's accomplished so much in such a short amount of time, and she didn't get any type of attention until she was in her 40s. She was around 43 years old. Viola Davis, all right? Viola Davis did not star in How to Get Away with Murder until she was 49. Viola Davis was almost 50 when she got her big break. What if Viola Davis would have quit and said at 45 and said, no, it's okay, it didn't work. I'm done, I'm giving up on my passion. I'm gonna just go bad girl. I don't know, I'm gonna go do something else. I'm gonna give up. What if she would have said that? We never get how to get away with murder the way we got it. We never get the beautiful career of Viola Davis and the influence and the inspiration and the leadership. We never get it. Because she didn't believe in being too old. Because too old is a myth. Here's one that's really close to home for me. Somebody that I got mad love and respect for being a rapper. Benny the Butcher, man. Benny the Butcher, if y'all don't know Griselda, y'all need to tune in. Griselda's killing the game right now. Their output is in insane. They work with some of the top people in the industry. They bringing back that raw, gritty New York, I mean, gangster rap type of feel. Almost like the new age Wu-Tang, right? Benny the Butcher decided at age 15 he was going to be a professional rapper. At 15 years old, now going through his life, he sold coke, right? He went to prison, went to jail, did some time, sat down for a little bit, came home. Westside Gun founded Griselda Records in 2014. In 2017, Griselda would get a record deal with Shady Records, three years after inception. This year, 2020, has been Benny the Butcher's biggest year to date. In Griselda as a collective and also as a solo artist. He just did an album with Hit Boy. He's working with the top guys. Benny the Butcher is 35 going on 36. Westside Gun is 38 years old. And Conway is 38 years old. Now what if the guys in Griselda had given up at 27, 28, 29, 30, 31? What if they gave up and said, you know what? This rap thing ain't really working, man. Nobody cares. We don't never get Tanner Talk 3. We don't never get Pray for Paris. We don't never get from king to a god. Because they didn't believe in being too old because being too old is a myth. It doesn't exist. Now, if we want to stay on the music tip, right? Here's some facts that most people don't know about. Let me just read them off for y'all. This is from something I read called The Average Age of Achievement. I'm going to post the link below so you guys can check it out and see where I'm getting this info and this data from, okay? The average age for the winner of the Grammy for Album of the Year is 40 years old. You ain't know that, did you? The average age for the Oscars Best Actress is 36. For the Best Actor is 44. For the Best Director is 47. We get so caught up in timelines that we forget to enjoy the journey. Because no matter what your journey is, whether you pop at 15 or you pop at 16, and I get it, you look around, you know certain professions tend to get more attention, right? If you look at athletes, Athletes peak earlier because your body's in prime physical condition. So yeah, you're gonna have an NBA full of 21 year olds. You're gonna feel like a failure if you compare yourself to their timeline. But for their self-actualization, if basketball is their, is their purpose, is their self-actualization, that's their timeline. 
Okay, they're gonna have to make an adjustment when that when that period ends and they have to live life for the rest of their life. Other people, yeah, you might at 21, 25, 26, 27, you might not have it figured out yet. That's okay. But if you continue to work and push at your craft, at some point you're gonna reach it. And it's all gonna make sense and it makes that journey so much more worth it. Even now, you know, at 21, I thought I'd be a millionaire. Right? I thought I would have had everything figured out. Didn't happen kept working I kept growing I'm still going I'm still nowhere near where I want to be I'm not even close to scratching the surface of my dreams and how grand they are not even close but I'm going and whereas I thought I might have been ready at 21 maybe I wasn't ready maybe God knew something I didn't because now even looking back I'm so much more wise I'm so much more experienced I'm more poised I'm stronger my shoulders a little wider you know I grew up a little bit. I'm grown now. I can handle different situations and conversations that I couldn't handle at 21. So this whole timeline thing is just a myth. It doesn't have to matter as much as you make it matter. If you focus on making the most of the time you have. Quick anecdote. My little cousin Kiana passed away from cancer when she was eight years old in 2014. Last time I spoke to her, she called the house, the apartment, and she wanted to play Club Penguin on the, on the computer and talk on the phone. I didn't want to do it. I was tired. I had my own stuff going on. Something told me to get on the phone. And we played for a couple hours like we always would. And she was so happy. And not too long after that, she passed away. Eight years old from cancer. I still don't understand it. When I went to her funeral, they spoke about how she was such a light in the Ronald McDonald house. How all the kids looked up to her. How she would smile. And she didn't even complain, even though she had tubes going in and, out of, in and out of her body. She was dealing with chemo for years. She was only eight years old. She lost all of her hair, had to wear bandanas around to school. And, and Kiana was so sweet. She made such a difference in eight years. She made such a difference in eight years. Who am I to complain about things not happening in my own, in the timeline I expected, when some people don't even get a timeline? And they smile the whole way through, no matter how short or long their time is. And if you believe that our souls are infinite, right? Souls are energy, spirits are energy. Energy can either be created or destroyed. It can be transmuted. It can be transferred and it can be channeled. This part of life, this human experience is temporary. Whatever timeline that you're thinking about doesn't exist if you believe that a soul is infinite. I don't know if you do, but I do, okay? Be patient with yourself, all right? Invest as much as you can into the, the hours and the time that you get. Give all of you to this world because the essence of life is to boundlessly self-express and to be a light to the world and leave this place better than, better than you found it. That's life. Make this thing better because you were here and be a light to the world and show love and spread love to others. If you can do that, you're not gonna have to worry about no timeline because things are gonna happen in the time they're supposed to. That's all I got for you, man. I'm out.